A basket contains three blue, five black, and three red balls. If three balls are drawn at random, what is the probability that all are black? So what's the answer? You want all the balls to be black. Now the only choice that you have here is five black balls. Out of these five, how many should you choose? Five C three. Yes or no? Out of these five black balls, we need to choose three balls. And the condition says all the three have to be black. So choose only from these five balls. So five C three is the number of ways in which you can get the desired output divided by total number of ways. Now what is the total number of balls? Three blue plus five black plus three red. So three blue plus five black is eight balls. Eight balls plus three is eleven balls. Out of these eleven balls, you have to choose any three balls. So five C three by eleven C three. Simplify this now. So five into four into three upon eleven into ten into nine, right? Because the three into two into one is the denominators will get cancelled. So how much is this? This is twenty and this is ten. Goes two times. Three here goes three times. So how much is the answer? Two by thirty. Two by thirty three. No, I think it mentioned one by thirty three. Two by thirty three will be the answer. The probability that the problem will be solved by three persons are one by two, one by three, and one by six. Find the probability that the problem is solved. Right. So basically, there is a problem to be solved, and there are three persons. Probability that A will solve is equal to one by two. The probability that B will solve this problem will be one by three, and the probability that C can solve it is one by six. Now he says find the probability that the problem is solved. So it's like all of them are trying it out. What is the probability that the problem will get solved? Now there are multiple ways in which the problems can problem can get solved. Right? See, A can solve it, or B can solve it, or C can solve it. or both a and b may solve it where c doesn't solve or b and c can solve it or c and a can solve it or all a b and c can solve it these are the cases right how many cases 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 cases there are seven ways in which the problem can be solved only a can solve only b can solve only c can solve or both a and b have solved both b and c have solved both c and a have solved or maybe all three of them have solved see all three of them are trying it out so one alone can solve two of them can solve or all three of them can solve so if you take the you know probability of all these cases or if you want to avoid all this uh, drama you can simply say probability that the problem gets solved is equal to 1 minus probability that the problem doesn't get solved right 1 minus the probability that the problem is not solved now the problem is not solved can be done only in one way Problem is not solved means what? A should not solve, B should not solve, and C should not solve. All three of them should fail together. Then the problem is not solved. Now, if A's probability of solving it is one by two, his probability of failing is one by two. If B can solve, I mean the probability of B solving the problem is one by three, then probability of B not solving the problem is two by three, and probability of C solving the problem is one by six. So probability of C, probability of C not solving the problem is five by six. You know that total probability is always one, right? So one minus one by two, one minus one by three, one minus one by six. So in simple way, you can simply say it is one minus probability that the problem is not solved. See, when is the problem not solved? Only when all three of them fail. If one of them fails, the other two will solve it. If two of them fails, the third one will solve it. But for the problem not to be solved, the only way is all three of them have to fail. So I can say probability of solving is equal to one minus probability of not solving it. And not solving it is what? One by two, A should fail. Two by three, B should fail. And five by six, C also should fail. Simplify. Two and two gets cancelled here. Five by eighteen. One minus five by eighteen is thirteen by eighteen. So that's your answer. Thirteen by eighteen. Option C.